watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Hello and welcome to ShopRite's Be the Media program. My name is Chuck Joseph and my family owns the ShopRite of West Hartford. In this segment, you'll see local stories about our community as told by local residents of all ages. As a resident and business owner in West Hartford, our ShopRite team is proud to support Be the Media. My family opened our store with the mission to have a positive impact on the community, and we are pleased to share that mission with you today. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the show. And I'm Julia, and we're, we're from, from Be the Media Team at Wilkes School. Tonight we are going to be showing you what Family Game Night is. And Family Game Night only happens once a year, so we're going to try to have as much fun as we can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Family Game Night? Be <laughs> Family Game Night is awesome because it's one of the few times that we get a lot, a lot of families to show up. Really simple event. And the best part is the kids are all hanging out, the parents are all hanging out, they get to talk. Someone wins something, but in the end, I think everyone has a great time. Our next number, B4. B4. Our next number, O sixty six. What is Family Game Night? Family Game Night is the most fun night on the Walk at School calendar. We get together at the end of February once a year and we have bingo night. We play ten games and the first winner wins gift cards to to stores all over town like Ben and Jerry's and Elmwood Pizza and Pepe's and, and big gift certificates too to the movie theater and Beachland Tavern. And then there are also prizes like little stuffed animals and tattoos and stuff for the kids. We also sell drinks and food and everybody has a great time. Nice. Yes, it's a fun night. That was 069. Our next number, 072. Next number, I28. Well, folks, that's our family game night. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Trey. From Be the Media at Walk at School. Thanks for watching.
My name is Maeve, and I am from Quest at Morley Elementary School. This is my Type 3 project. It is called The Secret School, and it is a play based on the book by Avi. This is the first time that these actors have seen the script, and I am very proud of them. I'm Miss Fletcher's replacement. Uh, only nobody knows. Ida, I'm sure I'd like to hear some more about this. Well, it was Tom's idea. I agreed, so we told the kids and we voted on it. I knew the woman got the vote, but did that go for the kids too? We did, we all voted. That okay with you? The school board with Mr. Jordan gave permission. He doesn't even think girls should go to high school. What Mr. Jordan does is to close his and step back to 1825. Pa, we're not even telling him. It's a secret school. Kids, we have as much of a chance of keeping that school open, open than a valley does of growing oranges. But see here, Ida, I won't quarrel. On. I'm going to have to say something, though. The farm comes first before any high school. I understand. All right, then give it a try. But it has to be a secret. Won't even tell the sheep. It's cold. How about you get some firewood, start the fire? It'd be a bit hard to learn if it's this cold. I'm 14 years old and I can't remember my new seat. Hey, Ida, give me a hand. Felix, though you are still my brother, you may call me Ida at home, but from now on, while in school, you must call me Miss Bitson. Does that mean you're going to talk teacher too? The proper words are going to. Good morning, students. Morning, Ida. <laughs> Herbert Bixler, I should like to remind you that my name is Miss Bitson. Now again, good morning, students. Good morning, Miss Bitson. Now, we will begin with Susie School leading us in Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. But was blind, but now I see. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed Through many dangers, toils and snares I've already come This grace that brought me safe thus far And grace will lead me home Wonderful, Susie! You may take your seat. Today we shall begin as we always do. Mary and Felix, you shall read to me from your primers. Tom, work on your mathematics then help Susie with hers. Natasha, your geography. Helen, you do your reading on page 73 of your reader. Charlie, you'll parse the opening paragraph from The Way to Be Happy, page 159 of your reader. What about me? Herbert, you will read your history. I would sure like to see you make me. Teacher's pet gonna defend the teacher? Tom Cole, sit down. Herbert Bixler, I told you to do your history. Are you going to or not? I'm just saying, you could try and make me if you want. Herbert Bixler, are you going to do as you're told? Guess I'll do what I want, thank you very much. Does anyone make you come to school? I only come if I want to. Everyone in this room is wanting to learn. We all took a vote to keep this school open, so I guess we can vote you out of it too. Then the whole valley would know what you really are. A sulky, low-down, lazy dud. Is that what you want to be known as, a lazy dud? I ain't saying. I don't care what you say. I'm just caring what you do. All right, students, all in favor of expelling Herbert from this school. Hey, Ida, I was just fooling. What's my name? Uh. All in favor of expelling Herbert from this school, if he ever interferes again, raise your hand. Majority rules. You either do as I say, or you're expelled. Hey, Miss Bidson, I was just joshing. Hey, Miss Bidson, I was just joshing. Take out your history book. Yes, Miss Bidson. Mary and Felix, you may come to read to me now. 
All right, time for mid-morning recess. Am I going to have to call you Miss Benson too? <laughs> yes. Tom, it's a lot harder than I thought. I don't know if I can do it. You're doing fine, Miss Benson. Thank you. Going to take recess? Teachers never do. Uh, Miss Benson, don't you go forgetting who you are. It will make it harder for you and your friends. Tom, please help Mary and Felix with math. Natasha, please help Herbert with spelling. Susie and Helen, penmanship. And Charlie, come to my desk. I would like to hear you read a bit. How pleasant it is at the end of the day. No foils to repent, but reflect on the past and be able to say, my time has been properly spent. Wonderful job, Charlie. Please go back to your seat and work on memorizing ne the next two verses of The Way to Be Happy. Yes, Tom? May I come to your desk? Of course. It's past three. Oh! School's dismissed. How did it go? It was really hard. That Herbert Bixler acted up. Did you have to switch him? Got him to work without. Good for you. But the day seems so long, Pa. I didn't even know the right time to dismiss everyone. Don't have a watch. Tom had to tell me. I got something for that. It's awful noisy. Got a drawer in that teacher's desk of yours? Yes. Keep it in there. And here's an idea. Find a good place to wrap it in. That way no one will hear. Thank you. Yes, Tom? I brought something the classmate want to listen to. Listen to? Yes. What's that? A crystal radio. Built it myself. A radio? Wow. My dad says we're going to get one soon. We are? Really? Yep. yep. He told me. Can I go over and look at it? Quiet. Tom, why don't you bring your radio up front? How does it work? Got to get this up first. Let's all head outside. Herbert, this is called an antenna. It pulls in the signal. You need to tie it somewhere high. Okay. Done. We can go back inside now. Everyone, back inside. You have to be very quiet. The mountains make reception hard. What's reception? What you hear from the radio. Got KJQ, Salt Lake City. Where's that? Over in Utah. What's KJQ mean? It's the radio station's call numbers. Their name. Hear the music? I think it's jazz. Whoops, it's gone. Where did it go? Shh. Got Denver. KDL. What are they going? What are they doing? Giving livestock prices. Here, give me a place. San Diego. Um, here we go. K O N. N. They're talking about sheep. This is boring. I want to listen to music. Okay, where should I try to get? Albany. Kansas City. So it can. Where's that? <laughs> Never mind. I think this is Kansas coming in. <laughs> hey, I know what that is. It's a baseball game. Wow, wow cool. <laughs> Time for recess. Aww. I'm glad you brought that in. How'd you learn to make it? Popular mechanics had to write away for the parts. Ida, mm, I mean, Miss Bitson, there's a lady outside we've never seen here before. Says she's from the country education office. And she needs to speak with our teacher. My name is Miss Sedwick from the Raw Country and Education Office. Where's Miss Fletcher? She's gone. Gone? For the day? For good. Oh? Her mother, back in Iowa, got ill. I'm sorry to hear it. When was this? A couple of weeks ago. I see. And who are you? Miss Bitson is our new teacher. I see. Well, your school board was very fortunate to have found you so quickly, Miss Bisson, and to secure your services. I am very pleased to meet you. 
know about the board will be forwarding your cre cre credentials to the country office. Have we met before? Not really. <laughs> well, it will be me. Come June, who ex experience your eighth grade level students from their exit diploma. How many will there be? I'm in the eighth grade, miss. Excellent. Your name? Tom Cole. Tom, you'll need to study hard. It's a challenge in exam. Miss Bitson, is your first teaching appointment? Yes, ma'am. I must confess, you seem very young, but I'm afraid that only that only tells you how my own ears are getting up. Might you tell me your full name? Ida. Ida Bitson. Well, now I should not interrupt further. Miss Bitson, I am very glad to meet your request. Your grand, mind your teacher. Young man, I'll see you in a few weeks. Ida, if that lady doesn't know you need to take the test, she won't give it to you in June. Miss Sedgwick, I need to speak with you. Yes, Miss Bitson? I'm, I'm not really a teacher. I beg your pardon? I'm only in eighth grade. When Miss Fletcher left, the school board decided to close down the school till next fall because there wasn't enough time to get a new teacher. Close down the school? Yes, ma'am. But we all wanted to move on, especially Tom and I, so we can take our exit exams and move on. I mean, to go to high school in Steamboat Springs come fall. We voted, ma'am. It was unanimous. We voted to have me as a teacher. Miss Bitson, exactly how old are you? Fourteen, ma'am. I see, and I assume you're in eighth grade? Yes, ma'am. She's my sister, but she's really smart. Pretty tough, too. And she's a great teacher. She knows everything to do. I'm sure Miss Bitson has every one of those qualities, but I need to understand something. While you're while you and your classmates have gone on with school, with you as a teacher, Miss Bitson, I trust that you have told the local local school board what you're doing. No, ma'am, we haven't. Ah, but what about your parents? Do they know you're teaching? My parents know I'm teaching. Well, I've been in the country for 15 years, and I've never heard of anything quite like this. It is almost unusual. I hope to be a real teacher someday. But to do that, I must go to high school. Plus a year in the state normal college in Greeley, I must add. So this was the only way that Tom and I could think of to keep the school going. Can I, can we keep doing it and take the test? Miss Bitson, I think it's wonderful that you, but the school board acts independently. My office has a duty to oversee teachers' certification, cur curriculum, and exit exams, so I'll have to look into this. You'll be hearing from me. Oh, you're in trouble now. Wonder what she'll do. Don't know. Has anyone else besides me told their parents that no, I'm the new no. teacher? No. no. Nope. Best hold your tongues. Now recess is a long time over. So is school. School's dismissed. What do you think is going to happen? Don't know. You know. You're doing a mighty fine job teaching. Thank you. But Tom, I don't think that'll have anything to do with it. It should. Bye. Can you believe how many places we heard on the radio? Nope. I felt just like traveling all over the whole country. I know, right? Albany. Salt Lake City. Spokane. Chicago. Denver. And Kansas City. So many places all in one room. But Elk Valley has never seemed so isolated.
I think it's okay. yeah. 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 I'm taking each one, yeah. but not Okay, so in 1977, there was a young couple called the Hastings. Uh, they actually owned an old antique shop. Uh, they basically refurbished old stoves and brought them to be. Uh, they started making sandwiches and uh, cookies on the side. Um, and then they realized that all the customers were coming in for their sandwiches and their cookies. So they ended up expanding their menu. And that's Okay, so it's got its name Potbelly because uh, there's the old, in the older times we used uh, old Potbelly stoves to kind of heat our houses. Um, and then that old couple, that, the Hastings, they actually refurbished those Potbelly stoves and made them re-vented, re uh, re My favorite, it's called the Wreck. It's got salami, ham, roast beef, and turkey on it, and then I love it with hot peppers, lettuce, tomato, and pickle on it. What do you want people to know about this place? Um, it's a cool little hangout. Uh, I've been working for Pond Lake for about six years. Uh, it's got a lot of cool memorabilia from uh, the Connecticut. We got the flag over there, a lot of Hartford Whalers memorabilia. Uh, we're fun, fun, friendly people, and we uh, just like to make delicious food for you guys. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, the secret of the pepper. So it's a secret popular formula. It's got a lot of carrots in it, some celery, uh, chardonnay mix. Um, it's good with just about everything. I even put it on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As crazy as that sounds, but it's a secret little recipe that we uh, we came up with uh, in 1977. So. <laughs> Locally owned and operated by the Joseph family, our store is completely remodeled and offers a variety of high quality products and exceptional value. You can find us at the corner of Kane and Prospect and experience our mission of having a positive impact on our associates, customers, and community. <laughs>